strategies promoting health and preventing disease to modify the prevalence of trachoma and uh, amyloidosis during uh, 2021 in Valpes. Uh, this is an effort uh, that is uh, led by the Department of Valpes. Uh, and for that purpose today, we have Dr. Holman Miller, uh, the Secretary of, of Valpes, as government agencies which will lead uh, this strategy in the frame of this department. And also part of the team which is here present, uh, Sebastian Patino is here, Marcelo Consuegra, and Juanita Morato are members of this team. This is a micro planning exercise, given that in Colombia, we have been training for strategy, integrated uh, uh, planning strategies. This is not systematic. And we consider that this process could be of great help and use not only for Colombia, but for the whole America's area as an experience which can be taken step by step to see how an integration of uh, different campaigns can be done. In our country, Colombia, as I have mentioned, Colombia is at the far left area of the Americas uh, region and the department which we focus on is called Valpes. It has to be said that the indigenous community, although Colombia uh, was included in the ODC, we still have indigenous uh, populations which are suffering marginalization and find themselves in very precarious situations at all levels. This is how this Valpes department, which has about 42,392 inhabitants of which 52.5 are women and 47.5 are men the majority 70 percent are indigenous population which is distributed in 252 communities and as you can see on this map being in the amazonian area they are very far of the urban areas bogota for instance which is in the middle this is in a peripheral area with poor access to uh, health services and uh, placed in a difficult area. There are poor performances also in health indicators with 70% where the majority of the population has basic needs which are not met. This situation becomes a substrate in understanding why some diseases show up like trachoma. And uh, as it's been uh, said by Dr. Holman Miller in one of his uh, studies, 189,000 people in Colombia live with trachoma, according to the WHO and certain studies that have been undertaken. This prevalence for the department uh, for children from zero to nine years is 23% and has become a public health issue for us. We have to add a poor implementation of certain strategies because of the geographic dispersion, as mentioned before, because of the difficulty to access health services, among others. And another problem is that of the uh, the helminthiasis, the parasites. For the department, it becomes a major health problem with a 36.11% of the morbidity in uh, hospitals or inside the department. And specifically, helminthiasis is the sixth cause of consultation in the, the department. This is how. Um, if uh, we have had an implementation process, we want with this visibilize, uh, make it visible 
the process with several questions that need to be asked. The first one is which strategy in health promotion and prevention of disease could be implemented in an integrated way so that it, it could be possible to modify the prevalence of trachoma and geomintiasis in the indigenous communities during year 2021. For this, we have three questions which may help us to answer this central question. The first one, which are the stakeholders involved in the decision making in the question of promotion and prevention uh, in the department? The second question is, which are the perceptions of the participating stakeholders regarding the promotion and prevention strategies for trachoma and soil transmitted helminthiasis? intestinal parasites. And the last one is which strategies could be implemented integrally to modify the prevalence of trachoma and salt transmitted hemitiasis in Valpes. For that, we will have several activities which will answer at the first we'll answer the first question. We will have a mapping and characterization of the key stakeholders which have a decision-making power over the disease promotion and prevalence subjects. For that, we will have a call to participate. For the second question, we will have an EIDS situation analysis evaluation of the VOBES department, focusing on, an, uh, on a case study when we uh, talk uh, close. So it's uh, eight hours on the river, and with this, uh, build a collaborative uh, environment with a work plan with an integration promotion and prevention campaign that managed to affect an integral way the prevalence of trachoma and soil transmitted I mean, this is, is transmitted, are transmitted. With this in Caño Cobillu, we will have a validation with a socialization of integrated campaign and systemization of the micro planning process so that it could be replicated in other areas of the country. Who are these stakeholders? We believe that to achieve this, the uh, stakeholders uh, the work on a health program with a national neglected infectious disease program, Department of Vector Transmitted Disease Program. We have the coordinator here, Dr. Miller, and also the Department of Public Health for VOPES. At government level, we have the Secretary of uh, Health from MITU, as well as the Secretary of uh, Health in VOPES, and the indigenous organization, in this case, Caño Cubillu. We believe that the decision making is not only at institution levels, but also when we work on these strategies in an integrated way to be sustainable, we need to have the local communities involved. This is how we see that an indigenous organization from Cayo Cubillu will participate. And we have other uh, stakeholders, the academy, because uh, this could be uh, this micro planification could be understood as part of uh, training and education for future generations of doctors and uh, health workers with uh, power participating nutrition programs from the uh, health secretary and obviously with the Ministry of Health, which factors are enabling for us who uh, can see everything that I've been mentioned here. For a start, we have an endorsement by the authorities from the indigenous communities from Ganyo Kubiyu for the realization of case study. Dr. Holman Miller has been working very closely with the communities and this has made possible for the communities to be co-leaders in this effort, in this study. There is also acknowledgement by the key stakeholders, obviously, and the multidisciplinary team from the CIGIT research, the uh, medicine faculty, anthropologists, sociologists, uh, nurses, economists, biologists, 
among others. I see that I have one minute left. The last part with the hearing factors, the poor connection and connectivity, internet, Wi-Fi, etc. The pandemic and also see the sustainability. Finally, we are going to use a methodology, which is the investigation action participation with work groups, building working team and having a, a monitoring follow up. And we believe that to show this, we need to have a systematization process and have a video produced for the area of the Americas. Many, many thanks. Thank you.